On Facebook, I've seen a number of my contacts and friends, particularly from the LGBT community, telling everyone to delete their MeWe account if they have one because MeWe doesn't censor the far right. And therefore, they're a right-wing website and they cater to them and all of that. And I'm just like, well, I mean, I could understand that if they were saying that about Parler. Parler is a terrible, terrible platform. Parler was designed from the bottom up to be a right-wing alternative to Twitter. The layout is awful. The notification system is awful. You can't, it, it, on, at least on the web anyway, you can't tell if someone has replied to something you've said somewhere. You're, there's there's almost no way to, to get to what it was that they're even replying to. You can't even see the conversation. It, it's terrible. It's just the layout is awful. And then there's even a horizontal scroll bar just so you can on the web version, just so you can move the some elements of the page back and forth, just like this. There's no reason for it, but there's no quality control when it comes to the, the layout and, and inner workings of the site. It's, it's just awful. And they ban people for being too far left. If you're mean to some to a politician, you say something mean about a, a right-wing politician, they'll they'll ban you. They'll ban you for swear words, they'll ban you for using potty humor, they'll ban you for being mean to anyone on the right in general. They just they're just ban happy. Now, if you're allowed to have their own their own TOS, I'm not saying they don't have the right to do that, but they are most certainly a right-wing website. They're designed from the bottom up to be a right-wing website. You know, MeWe is not. MeWe tries to be, tries to, to offer the best options from all the different me, uh, social media platforms that there's been. You know, um, like for instance, uh, uh, you get to have this whole selection of emojis that you can put as, as a response to someone's post. You know, instead of just how on, you know, Twitter you can do, you can, you can like, um, on Facebook, you can have you can have this, the the like. You can say a uh, 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 sad face. You can say the heart. What? Well, on this one, you have this whole big selection of things you can select. For instance, right? Um, they allow you to customize your feed decently. You can choose what you want to see in your feed. You can choose what uh, what order things are in. You can make it always show chronologically. You can make it always try to show. Uh, uh, algorithmically, you've got all these choices, right? And they, they've they've really tried to make it a decent site, and they don't they don't uh, harvest your data, they don't share it with others, they don't you know they it's decent in that regard, you know. It's all the things people have liked about places like Facebook without all the things that people don't like. They don't censor. They don't even censor. You can have nudity in your groups. And, uh, and there's no problem, you know, they're, they're, they're a decent platform. So when I see people complaining about, about, oh, they allow for right-wing viewpoints, I'm just like, well, they're not censoring people on the left, are they? I mean, how many people on the left have complained about how much Facebook censors them? They, oh, you're put into Facebook jail for 30 days because you said something, I don't know, unpopular or whatever. You, they, they, Facebook censors for stupid reasons. And you experience that. Some of these same people saying to, to boycott MeWe are the same people who sometimes complain about when Facebook censors people. So that's just weird. You know, something I've got to add to this video is, um, you know, in the past, I there was a point, there was a video that I made somewhat, sometime over this past month where I mentioned uh, BitChute. And I, I mentioned it in passing as, as being a right-wing website, okay? I shouldn't have done that, okay? They're, they're not a, it's, uh, BitChute is not designed to be a right-wing website. They're designed to just be a place for, for free speech. They're designed, you know, but so many of the people who have been kicked off other platforms have went to BitChute, and, you know, and... I mean, I'll be honest, I, I haven't found a single left-wing channel on BitChute. Ha haven't run across it yet. Um, 
I mean, maybe the people that that run, you know, that have that channel might be left wing, but they certainly don't state their left wing views publicly on their videos, right? And maybe they exist. I just haven't ran across them, and it's it's hard to to come up with new, find new content on BitChute uh, via the site because their search is terrible. You're much better off using Google to search BitChute than using BitChute to, to search BitChute. But, uh, and another thing they really need to, to get going on BitChute is the uh, notifications for comments. You know, they originally were using Discuss, D-I-S-Q-U-S, I believe it's spelled. Uh, it's a third-party place that can handle comments. And that was that was working out relatively well for a while until near the end when there was some sent there were some censorship issues going on so they developed their own commenting system but they they still haven't added notifications there and it's just like well what's the point in even trying to have a conversation you know first you let's find the video let's land on now let's search through all of the 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 posts because yours obviously isn't going to show up on top so you know let's search through all the posts so you can find something it's just like ridiculous so it's a place right now where people just leave you know one comment only there's no point in trying to have a conversation right so that that really needs to be worked on but uh you no know, it's it's not a right-wing website it's not built from the bottom up to be right wing. They certainly don't censor people on the left. There's nothing like that going on. But it is primarily filled with people on the right and 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 conspiracy theorists. And uh, I'm sure some people are going to say, "Oh, you just call anything you don't like a conspiracy theory." Right? I'm, I'm sure there'll be people watching this video saying that sort of thing. And I'm just like, "No, there, there's uh, there, there's." Plenty of things that I don't like that are not conspiracy theories. I'm just not a fan of pushing some sort of notion with no fucking proof. When something is all conjecture and you state it as if it's as if it's fact, it's just like, no, I have a problem with that. And I don't care where that's coming from. You know? Oh, well, this could happen, therefore it did happen. No, that it doesn't it doesn't work that way. You know, but uh, anyway, um, something that I guess confuses me a little bit is how, I to me, L, people that are older in the LGBT community, like myself, we we should know better than to be pushing for censorship. How about what they've tried to do regarding Joe Rogan? Oh, he had someone uh, transphobic on, on his platform. We have to boycott him because they won't delete their content. They're allowing it. They, they are allowing this interview with someone we don't like. Well, if you don't like what they're saying, make a video or something against what they're saying. Prove what they're saying wrong. Joe Rogan doesn't just let their guests get away with anything. He's sometimes pretty harsh on their guests, but, oh, but you, he gave them a platform. Well, so fucking what? How, how would, I, I just kind of wonder if, if the mindset from some of the LGBT community, if the mindset that's there now was there you know, during when, when Howard Stern was getting big, you know, if you would have been around then, would you have tried to uh, censor Howard Stern too? He sometimes had controversial guests on. I don't know, I just... For people that have experienced, have been on the other end of, of, of experiencing being censored for saying pro-LGBT things... God, how about the 80s? People, you know, right-wingers would try to, and religious people would try to ruin people's lives for just being pro-LGBT in some way. You know? Like I've said before, the right-wing were the original SJWs, but... Um, yet we've, we've experienced censorship, so why would we perpetuate censorship on others? Yeah, you don't like their opinions. I don't like their opinions either. I think they're terrible. You can say, well, well, it allows it to spread. Well, that means we have to, if we don't want it to spread, then we have to work that much harder to show where these people are wrong. 
You know, we do need to keep having these conversations. It's perpetual. You can't just slap some censorship on it and, and it just goes away. You know, if you slap censorship on it on the mainstream platforms, it's just going to go to the, the underground platforms and fester there where they don't have anyone saying anything against them. Have you ever tried going on Stormfront? I have. I've been, I was banned from Stormfront a long time ago. Because I, I, I didn't kiss their ass enough and I didn't uh, tell them, oh, you're so right, oh, you're so right. I didn't tell them that. So, yeah, they, they got rid of me pretty quickly there. In fact, they, they banned me in a way that if I attempt to log in, it lit, you, you can't even go to the, I can't even go to the places that I could as a guest, right? I mean, it's just a total, total ban, right? Yeah, it, do, we, do we want things to become like that? Echo chambers? Do we do we want people to congregate on places like Parlor, where there is no argument against everything is just this giant echo chamber? Is that what we want? The, the that kind of mindset will surely spread more on those sites than they would on mainstream sites if if people I, I, the thing is I think people are just wanting to be lazy. Well, well, we've we've already proven those mindsets are wrong. Well, you, you, you proved that many years ago. That doesn't mean it carries on to new generations. We have to keep showing new generations why these things are wrong, why these mindsets are harmful, why this is hurtful, what these things lead to. We have to show them. We can't just call them racist. We can't just call them a bunch of names because they're, they're parroting some things from some of those viewpoints. We have to show them why they're wrong. We have to keep teaching these lessons over and over and over again. We'll always have to teach these lessons over and over again. There is no easy out. I guess that's all I've got to say. Thanks.